Welcome to 2022 and Happy New Year everyone. I'm Lori Mode with the Mode Real Estate Group of Keller Williams Realty in Elk Grove. Um, I want to know today if you're thinking about selling your home, but you may be worried about taxes that you might have to pay on capital gains from the sale of that home. A lot of people are asking about that lately, so I thought I'd come to you today and share a little bit of information. So the market's appreciated a lot, and that's why a lot of people are concerned about this, um, because we have had such high appreciation over the last um, couple of years. Last year in um, Sacramento area, we appreciated about 20%. So. The market's appreciated significantly in the past few years and many homeowners are faced with significant capital gains. So there are two exclusions uh, that IRS allows us to avoid paying taxes. Uh, there are two IRS laws that allow you to grow your wealth using the capital gains you earn on your home. The first is Section 121 exclusion. This allows you to exclude paying taxes on up to $250,000 of the capital gains on your principal residence as a single person. If you're married, it's up to $500,000. Uh, and there's a calculation that you figure out, that you sit down with your accountant and you figure out what your basis was and what you sold it for and there's all sorts of things that go into it so it's not just five hundred thousand dollars more than what you purchased it for so that's the first exclusion the second one is the 1031 exchange which i've used um, a few times on my investment properties where i defer the capital gains when i sell an investment property because i do a 1031 exchange when i purchase the new property that defers that until a later date when I sell it and I don't do a 1031 exchange. Then I have to pay taxes. But there's something else. There's a way to take advantage of both of these tax laws so that you can start investing in real estate with the capital gains that you get out of your principal residence. It's called Procedure 2005-14. It allows you to take the capital gains exclusion under Section 121, not pay the taxes on that, and then invest any additional capital gains in residential real estate under the 1031 tax deferred guidelines. Two rules have to be met. You must have lived in your home for two of the past five years, and you must have used the home as your primary residence, and two, the home must have been a rental property immediately prior to the sale. Now, I'm a licensed real estate agent. I am not a tax professional. So if you're going to use these, I want to talk to you about it. I want to, I want to sit down with you and help you figure out what your options are. But I also want you to talk to your accountant. So if you are thinking about selling any real estate this year, call me so we can sit down and work on a plan to get started. It doesn't mean you're going to sell it today. Maybe that you're going to wait till the summer. Maybe you're going to wait a couple of months. Maybe you just have questions right now. Please call me so we can sit down and, and start a plan. Um, I can be reached at the number below. Um, and any questions, I'm have always here to answer them. I'm happy to answer them for you. Um, until next time, stay safe out there. And Happy New Year. Talk to you soon.